What's good? Why is everyone so tired? Who's one? Of What's good? Can we get some energy in here? This is history right now. Barley House. <laughs> You know, I'm always very hard on myself. I think a true champion is very hard on themselves. You know, I'm, I got the W and I'm happy, but, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I'm a knockout artist and because I didn't get the knockout, I'm just like, damn. But it is what it is. He's one of the greatest welterweights of all time, five-time UFC champion, and he came game. You know, he, he knew that this was going to be a war and he brought that to the table. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy. Like I said, he's been fighting seven times as long as I have. Uh, so for me to come in there and have a dominant victory, let's be honest, that wasn't a split decision. What is the judge looking at? You know, I uh, landed 71 punches. He landed 52. So, you know, I learned a lot tonight. First time going past four minutes. First time in an eight-round fight. No one's doing eight-round fights at, at four fights in. Yeah, look, the guy really had nothing to say. You know, he he had a you know mediocre performance against you know my sparring partner. All credit to Anthony Taylor; he's a tough guy. Uh, but you know, Tommy Fury is supposed to be this tough, big bad guy, legendary bloodline. Uh, you know, I got into his face and I let him talk. I, I don't really have so, anything to say to him. You know, at the end of the day, I hired him to be here. I gave him an opportunity to shine. Uh, and he, I don't really have anything to say to him. I don't really have any bad blood. I just said, yo, like, get, tell your girl, get out of my DMs at the end of the day. Uh, will we see that fight? I, I'll run that shit easy. You know, that's an easier fight than Tyron, in my opinion. But who knows? But, but sorry, but like, people are like, oh, he's a real boxer, real fight a real box. Okay, let maybe, maybe let's run it. Let, okay, real boxer. The real boxer went four rounds, right? The real boxer went four rounds against someone who was inferior, all respect to Anthony Taylor, to Tyrone Woodley. Jake did tonight what Tommy Fury has not done. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Maybe the numbers will come back from Britain. Pay-per-view will be big and Jake will have interest in it. But until then, it just doesn't make any sense. If he sold a lot of pay-per-views in the UK and were impressed with the numbers, sure. But I put him on this platform, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Not nah, right now, man. Shit, I'm just getting warmed up. You know, I I'm a boxer. At the end of the day, I haven't trained MMA at all. You know, I'm only four fights in. Let me prove myself in this sport first. Yeah, look, I mean, no, like you said, no one's doing as saying this as humbly as possible. No one's doing this big of fights, four fights in in boxing history ever. No one watched Floyd's fourth fight. Canelo fought a guy who was 0 and 0 in his tenth fight. I'm taking on world champions, five time UFC champion in my fourth fight, selling out arenas in my hometown. Uh, you know, <laughs> if Tyron Woodley gets the tattoo. He, he better get it fast because otherwise we're going to book a different opponent. I told him if he wants to get the tattoo, put it on his Instagram. Uh, permanent tattoo. Per permanent tattoo. Then maybe we'll talk about it. Uh, but to be honest, I, I won convincingly. Um, you know, we're going to go back to the drawing board. But I think I proved a lot tonight and, and proved a lot of people wrong. Yeah, look, this is boxing. You know, um, I hadn't been hit up until that point in any of my fights with 10 ounce gloves. So that's the first time I take a shot with 10 ounce gloves. I repeat, that is the first time I took a sh real shot with 10 ounce gloves in four fights. Uh, I ate it. It was a good shot. 
This is boxing. If you're a mechanic, you're going to get dirty. But I proved I have a chin, you know, uh, boom, get hit, come right back. Okay, cool. You got, you got that round with that shot. No problem. I learned from it. I made adjustments and he didn't land it again for the next three rounds. So it is what it is, you know? I like that. I noticed you kind of saw him as well and uh, you planted some body shots that you can make sure it's done that more. Uh, you know, look, like I said, I'm very hard on myself. Um, yeah, I fought a good fight, I, I won convincingly. Uh, I was landing to the body a lot. Uh, coming into it, so something in my, my legs was a little off even before the fight started. So mo most of my other fights I felt amazing, like a rocket ship about to go off. Uh, this fight I was just like a little, a little slow. I think maybe we had too long of a camp. I think I've been doing this back to back to back to back to back. Four fights, 18 months. Most pros aren't even that active. Uh, so, you know, I could have done better always. There's always room for improvement in this sport, no matter who you are. And I'm, I'm want to be a champion, world champion. So I got to go back, watch the footage, study, get better. Um, in sparring, we don't sit down, you know. So in the fight, why sit down? And I wasn't, I wasn't that tired, you know. Uh, like I said, my legs weren't, I didn't feel as powerful. But I, I mean, I wasn't tired. I could have went two, two, three more rounds, four more rounds, whatever. It is what it is. For sure, dude. For sure, this is better preparation for future fights against tougher opponents. And I've been looking for this experience to get it under my belt. I'm salty because I had a perfect record going. You know, if you count my amateur, I was uh, four and zero with four KOs. Now I'm five and zero with four KOs. So I had a perfect record going, and uh, <laughs> you know, couldn't live up to that tonight. But he came game. You know, this was a Tyron Woodley that. I, I think was more prepared than any of his last UFC fights. The shots he was taking, I was I was hitting him, you know, and he was he was going through that, uh, and, and I hit hard. But uh, you know, I am I am happy that I got some experience under my belt, and I've always said that. You know, when am I going to get a fighter to really test me? I passed the test. Yeah, we'll see. You know, part of me wants to put him behind me. I won convincingly. Like I said, the split decision with the judges, to be honest, like, doesn't make any sense. How do I landed 71 punches? He landed 52. It's not even close. Um, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. If he gets the tattoo fast, puts it on his Instagram, I might consider it. You know, I, I would come in, make adjustments with my legs feeling better than they did tonight. Uh, and I, I do think... I could do a lot better. I wasn't even landing some of my best punches. Some nights you're on, some nights you're off. This is a peak performance sport. You do everything in camp for one moment. Some days in camp I felt way better than tonight. But some nights when you come in for that peak moment, you're just not everything's there. And it is what it is. I'm not making any excuses. I still won. Uh, I still did good, but I know I can do better. Damn, really? Man, that's crazy. I'm like getting teary-eyed. That's sick. Man, like I said, I was in those stands 12 years ago screaming, LeBron, 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 trying to get him to notice me. So for him to even tweet about this, that's crazy. Like, I'm being really hard on myself, but man... I've accomplished so much in the past four fights. No one's doing this, you know? No one's ever done what he's doing in four <laughs> fights. That's unequivocal. Try not to cry. Um, but for, for him to even tweet that is crazy. <laughs> I 
I don't consider myself anything. I consider myself a chach. Nah, <laughs> maybe. I think I'm one of the faces of boxing, just because I'm doing it differently. There's room for everyone to eat, though. I don't want to take everything. I don't want to. This is a, this is a sport where there's hundreds of amazing fighters, and all I want to do is bring more eyeballs from a different audience. Everyone here saw the crowd tonight. This wasn't your typical boxing audience. This was kids that were rowdy, lit, holding up signs saying, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is a completely different audience, and that's what I want to bring to boxing. So I'm going to bring that over. They'll become fans of boxing and love all the other fighters. But I'm certainly, yeah, one of the top three biggest draws for sure. Top three, top five. I don't know. Like, let's look at the numbers. <laughs> Um, he earned my respect. He was game, you know? He, he was bringing the fight. And at the end of the day, you know, it's two men going in there risking their lives. So after all the shit talk is done, you know, I, I'm, I'm cool with showing respect. But... This is a crazy business. Like I said, we're risking our lives in there. And so, here are my respect. I'm going to touch the glove after. I even told him after. I said, I said, good fight. And I said, look, bro, the, a lot of tension, a lot of build up, a lot of back and forth between our teams. But I, I, I respect you and uh, no, no hard feelings. Seriously. Um, I don't even know, man. I think I'm gonna start with the haircut and the dentist. My teeth are crooked. My nose is crooked from this sport. I've given everything to this sport. I haven't gone on vacation in three years. There's a lot for me to do right now. Uh, we'll, we'll see, you know, I, I have a beautiful girlfriend who needs some attention. Um, I have a lot of things to figure out. Nikisa and I, we're going to go back to the drawing board and, and figure it out. This is, this is my bread and butter right now, though, so we'll see. You know, right now I'm a little tired. That was my first eight-round fight, so I might wake up tomorrow morning and be like, let's fucking go, sign the next contract, or I might wake up and be like, damn, I need to go to Turks and Caicos. Never. You know, I knew I would be doing great things in this sport, and I knew how bad I wanted this. I just didn't think it would happen this fast. I mean, look at how many fucking cameras. Like, why, who are these guys filming? You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Uh, <laughs> so I, I didn't imagine it to get here this fast. But to be honest, I've surrounded myself with an amazing team. I've put in the work. And... This is different. This is what the sport needed. And so when you, you when you work hard at something, when you surround yourself with amazing people and you have one focus, you know, really anything is possible and you can, you can accomplish that. And, you know, the sky is the limit. If I'm doing this in my fourth fight, what can I do a couple fights from here? Uh, this is it's, it's shocking to really think about it. I have a saying that I, that I wrote down on my uh, on paper and put it up on my mirror, and it says, "Think of where you started. Now imagine how far you can go." When I was 16 years old, falling asleep in class, nothing really going for me. I knew there was something else more for me out there. I just didn't know what it was because I couldn't break out of the bubble of living in Ohio. I, I didn't know. And to think it's only been, what, seven years? And I, I feel like I could retire and be happy, but I also at the same time feel like I'm just getting started. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> first, first time ever. Future of boxing. <laughs> you know, you can't just say it. I gotta, I gotta be about it. And I wanted to bring something different. We uh, jumped that, jumped that up, and made it happen.
<laughs> First and foremost, uh, shout out to you for wearing the Boohoo Man collection, the Problem Child Boohoo Man collection. I like that. The sweatshirts. That's some. That's some dope shit right there. BoohooMan.com. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know. Everyone tries to be such a macho man in this sport, and I like to just have fun, make jokes, troll, grab cheeks. <laughs> I mean, all my fights thus far, I've looked for the challenge. You know, I'm finding out what I'm capable of in these fights. You know, the, this is how we got here today. I'm always looking for the challenge because me as a businessman, I, I need a hard opponent who people are going to want to tune in to see. I'm not trying to do small pay-per-views. I'm trying to make history. And all I've done since my first pro fight is increase the level of competition. First pro fight, I'm going up against a guy, the beast from the Middle East. Boom, boom, boom. He's supposed to beat me. Oh, shit. One round. Okay, let me fight a real athlete who's supposed to be a dog who can jump 36 inches in the air. Nate Robinson. Okay, I won. Damn, okay, I'm good. Okay, let me fight. Let me fight a, a champion, a wrestler. You know, maybe he's not the best striker, but he's a real fighter. He could take a shot from Robbie Lawler. Okay, I beat that guy. Boom, now we're at Tyron Woodley, five-time UFC champion. Wow, I beat him? Okay, damn. Honestly, I was thinking about this. Like, I'll, no, I'm, I'm probably gonna bring, I'm probably going to bring the fight back here. Bro, this was dope. This was a dream come true. And, and you saw the audience and the, the gate we did today uh, was crazy. You know, we got, uh, we got some stats, but the, the live gate was bigger than Conor McGregor's uh, headlining event of the UFC in his hometown, Dublin, Ireland. So I sold more tickets than Conor McGregor did with the whole backing of the UFC uh, in my fourth fight ever. We did more revenue. So might as well just bring it back here, and the crowd was lit. Everything was dope about this fight week. And the crowd was there from 7 p.m., which is very, very rare for boxing, right? Yeah, I, I was noticing that, too. Like, the stadium was full since, you know, the first pay-per-view fight. That, that's unheard of. These kids were excited. and I have people thanking me, you know, uh, the, the head of the commission here, like, giving me a hug afterwards, like, almost teary-eyed, like, thank you for bringing this fight to Ohio. You're awesome. That like, that's sick. I love when people show respect. I've done fights everywhere else, and they're just like, next. For sure, you know we're on the path to a lot bigger fights. Uh, I'm salivating too <laughs> because I'm just getting warmed up. You know, Conor McGregor has a lot more to focus on besides me right now. I'm five wins in a row. He's one in three in the past four years. So a guy needs to get off of his uh, little vodka or whatever the fuck his brand is and, and uh, sober up and start to get back in the fucking gym and then we can fucking fight. But uh, to be honest... No way he hits harder than Woodley. <laughs> he doesn't weigh as much as Woodley. He's shorter than Woodley. I said it before the fight. I think Woodley's a harder fight than him. Especially especially on the weight where he's going. He's go Connor's going down. I'm going up. Woodley came in game. We'll see. I, when you t read me the tweet, I read it like, he guys, bro, suck. Uh, <laughs> you know, again, another loser talking up. Of course, he wants a payday. You know, I, I'm the the money fighter, one of the money fighters now I I in boxing. Uh, the guy's got a chin, but he doesn't land punches, right? So, you know, that fight's there. No problem. Thank you for the attention. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate it. Fanboy.
<laughs> this is a legend. This is a YouTube legend, by the way. Fuzi in the building. This is a legend right here. So if you don't know who he is, he's a YouTube OG goat right here. I think the media and the fans or haters are definitely holding me to a very high standard because uh, and right, because I have a loud mouth. So like almost rightfully so. Uh, but I like that. That's what makes me better. That's what makes these fights bigger. And by the way, not only did I live up to the occasion, I won the occasion. And I have eight rounds of experience now under my belt. I learned I can take a big ass shot from a guy who's knocked out all you guys in the UFC. Uh, so <laughs> let's go, baby. Like, I love it. K keep on doubting me. All of you, whoever it is. I know there's a lot of supporters in this fucking room, but whoever it is, everyone said leading up to the fight, Tyron Woodley's in Jake's head. Tyron Woodley's in Jake's head. Get the fuck out of here. I, I made a steal from toe to head to brain everything so i'm just getting warmed up and you know <laughs> keep doubting me you'll see Congratulations, thank you guys